why am I like this? Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an absolutely fantastic day. Today we're going to be going through my Tarte kit that I got from the Tarte semi-annual sale. I think they do this twice a year because I'm pretty sure I just bought one of these like not that long ago. Unfortunately that one I bought not too long ago I wasn't super duper happy with. I picked out some stuff that I ended up not really liking so I'm hoping I did a little bit of a better job of picking out items this time. So I'm gonna go through every product I picked out and I'll show you guys the little makeup bag that I got and I'll be trying everything on my face today to see how it works out. I definitely hope it goes a lot better than last time. Last time I got a powder foundation foundation that just looked like red dirt on me. It was not the most flattering look ever, so I'm hoping the items in here are just a wee bit better. The very first item I picked up was the makeup bag. They had a couple of different options, but I got the like unicorn makeup bag last time. This one is the mermaid bag. I really liked the shape of my unicorn bag and how much it held, so I wanted to go with like the same type style. So let's go ahead and get into the actual products here. So everything just comes like loose in the bottom of the box here, and I'll go through through all of the items. All right, so the first thing I picked out is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Aqua Concealer, and I don't know anything about this. I've never swatched it, I've never tried it, I just, I don't know why I picked it, but this is the one that I got. Alrighty, the next thing I picked out is this foundation here. This is the Shape Tape Matte Foundation, and I'm still not 100% sure about this because I thought for sure by now that they would have expanded their shade range, but going back and like looking through all the shades, I don't, I don't think they have. I, I'm not 100% sure about that. Let me know if you guys know, but that's like the very first thing I would have done or well, I would have hoped that they would have like put out an entire inclusive shade range first. Then I also got this, oh, I thought it said Pancake Princess. I was like, that's different, but <laughs> it's Park Ave Princess Colored Clay Bronzer Brush. Darn it, I was so close. I thought I wasn't gonna stumble over this. Blush, not brush. For some reason in my weirdo brain, those two words are completely interchangeable. Then I also picked out this Clay Pot Amazonian Clay Waterproof Liner. And I actually picked out something completely different at first. It was like a liquid like liner thingy. But as soon as I went to check out, they said it was sold out. So I had to pick something else. So I got this in the shade brown because I already have the shade black and We'll see if this is something I actually end up using. I actually kind of want to use it as like a base for darker shadows, but uh, we'll see how this goes as well. Alrighty, next up I also got this Tarte, what is this called? Lifted Sweatproof Mascara. And we had received a sample of this in a subscription box from like yesteryear. I don't really remember where it came from, but I ended up actually liking it. So I wanted to give the like full size a go. This is not black mascara. This is in the shade Black Brown. So I wanted something a little bit more or like maybe natural looking for a more natural look even though let's be honest I rarely do like natural natural looks so again we'll see how that goes I just kind of wanted to try new things and the last thing I got here is the Tardis lip paint in the shade front row this seems like a very standard lip color for me so I'm excited to try this out alrighty guys I'm gonna go ahead and put on a pair of cat ears because my hair is driving me absolutely batty it's driving me insane I have to tease the front part up so I don't look so bald on camera <laughs> just letting you guys know oh my secrets. Alrighty, let's go ahead and move on to the try on part. I'm going to go ahead and put on some uh, pr 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 primer on really fast. I'm going to be using two different primers because my skin has just been freaking out on me recently. So on my nose, I'm going to use something a bit more pore filling, feel, feeling, filling, which is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. Of course, I have a billion and a half samples of these. And then for the rest of my face, which is extra dry right now, I'm going to be using this Ofra Cool as a Cucumber Moisturizing Primer. I did receive this free for review from Ofra. So the first product I'm going to be testing out is the uh, Aqua Concealer here. Pretty excited about it. I haven't had a, a new concealer in quite some time. Oh no! Why am I like this? I guess I could reach down and actually grab it instead of trying to like grab it like a monkey with my foot. Ooh, stretch. Okay, let's go ahead and give that another go. It's just a box. It's not too difficult to open. So here we have the cute little concealer. It comes with like a doe footy thing, I think. Yes, it does. That is, that is quite a doe foot if I might add. The Tarte Shape Tape Concealer was not an option. Wait, do you conceal before foundation or after? Oh, 
who, again, not a beauty guru. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of both. I'm gonna put a little bit of this on under my eyes before I do my foundation, and then if I need more, I'll just I'll slap some more on. This concealer seems to have a decent amount of coverage, but it is a lot thinner than Tarte Shape Tape, and I don't think as full coverage either. Alrighty, now I'm gonna go ahead and try the Shape Tape Matte Foundation um, and see how it goes. Oh, wow, okay, holy doe foot. There's another doe foot. I guess Tarte really, really likes their doe foots. This might be even too light for me. I got the shade Fair Neutral, and I mean, me and Casper the Friendly Ghost could definitely be related, but this is super duper light. I have a dampened beauty sponge here. This is from Ricky's NYC, and I'm just gonna start patting this out. Okay, so here is the foundation on, and um, I'm not a huge fan so far. I'm looking pretty like mostly ghostly over here, which I should have chosen a darker shade. That is definitely my fault, but it's looking like I've already like powdered up my face with a setting powder, a very light one at that, but I haven't yet. It's also just this situation on my forehead here, it's not looking very good. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys in. So you see how it's making my wrinkly forehead look even more wrinkly? Not a huge fan of that. I'm just gonna try to really like work it into those wrinkles. It's strange cause it'll like look fine and then as soon as I like express any emotion, it wrinkles back up and kind of like creases. Emotionless, no emotion. All right, I'm actually gonna go ahead and try some more of this concealer cause I liked the consistency of it. It's it is a bit more liquidy and less dry looking. All right, I'm going to quickly set my under eye and very, very lightly set the rest of my face and then I'll be right back. All right, so the next thing I'm going to try is the Parka Princess Blush Bronzer, bronzer blush. I do like the outer packaging of this. It's pretty cool. It looks like some type of a geological formation or something. All right, so it says that this is a blush and a bronzer. My only issue with this is that the like blush portions of it are kind of just mixed in with the rest of it. I'm going to bronze first, and I'm going to focus my brush down here on the portion that doesn't have the little blush patch in it. I changed brushes really fast to see if maybe that brush had like a little bit of redness on it, but I just think it's kind of on the redder side in general. Alrighty, so I have bronzed and I think it looks all right. It is a little bit like on the reddish side for me, but now I'm going to use this as blush as well. So I'm going to concentrate more in like the pinky areas to try to do my blush. So I think that worked out pretty well for blush. It's nice and peachy looking, which I'm always okay with. Now I'm going to highlight with something and uh, I'll be right back. Oh, I wish I didn't live in a constant state of disarray. I could actually find things. Okie dokie, so I have gone ahead and highlighted and done my brows and now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the little Tarte, uh, boo -boo -boo, the Tarte clay pot here. So I got mine in the shade brown and I don't really think I'm going to be using this as liner. Oh, it's a lot lighter brown than I thought it would be. Or maybe not, it's an illusion. I'm gonna try to use this as a eyeshadow base and see if that works out. I think they said that was a possibility on their website. So I'm going to be using the Anastasia Soft Glam Palette. This is one of my absolute favorite palettes. And I'm gonna be doing the eye look I do literally every single day with the exception of adding the paint pot. So first I'm gonna take Rustic here on a fluffy brush and oh no, that's not what I do first. I'm like, I do this every day and then I completely forget to do the things that I do. I'm gonna take Tempera here on my finger and just swipe this over really fast. And now I'm going to take Rustic on a fluffy brush and just go ahead and create a very dark transition. I'm not sure why it's creating this lovely darker patch right there that standardly doesn't happen, but uh, that's okay. This eye is just always like 50 times worse than the other eye. I, can't, I don't know why, it just, it just is. Okie dokie, now I'm not even sure if this is gonna work, but I'm gonna take just my finger straight into this paint pot and I'm going to tap this onto my lid. Ooh, it dries very quickly. You might need to work a little bit fast. Now I'm gonna put some Cypress Umber just on top of that to kind of set it into place and make sure it blends into the transition. It's just honestly amazing like how much worse this eye is all the time, always. Alrighty, now that eyeliner is on, I'm gonna go ahead and try out this mascara here. This mascara is supposed to be sweat proof, which is good because the sweaty months are upon us and um, that makes me a bit nervous. I am very, very warm natured. Now I really like the color of this mascara for the lower lashes because it's a little less harsh than the black, 
but maybe for the top lashes, I'll prefer to go with the black. Alrighty, it is time for the very last little thing I got in this kit. I got the Tardis Lip Paint in the shade Front Row, and these I find to be a little bit drying, so I would definitely lay down something like moisturizing on your lips first. I currently don't have anything, so we're just gonna go for it. Ooh, okay, this is super pigmented. It's a bit of a different color than I was expecting. I didn't really know what to expect, actually. I was so, like, nervous trying to order this kit before it got sold out that I was just, like, throwing things in the cart left and right. I didn't really have too much time to check out like swatches or videos on things like that. So I was just tossing things into the cart. Alrighty, so here is the look with the lips done. They're a bit more vibrant than I typically wear, but I actually like this color. I think it's a really pretty kind of like brickish red. I think it goes pretty nicely with my brown grunge eyes, but uh, yes, yeah, so this is everything that I got in my Tarte kit. This kit, I do believe, was 60 something dollars, so it is a bit pricey, but apparently you're supposed to get like hundreds of dollars worth of value or a few hundred dollars worth of value or something like that. So if you really like these items already or if you're just wanting to try out like Tarte's range of makeup then this is a good way to go about it. I think they do this twice a year so if you missed out on this one there should be another one on like six this month. Six ish months maybe? The foundation I'm definitely getting used to. It's not- oh I got lipstick on me that's good. It's still not exactly my favorite. I did really like the concealer though. I like the consistency of it. My under eyes feel like really uh, moisturized which is cool. Typically they feel like crispy, which isn't cool. I ended up liking the bronzer for um, blush a lot more than I did for actual bronzer. It's still just a little bit too like on the red side for me, so I try not to put too much of it on my face. So yeah, this is everything. My look isn't too different than what I typically do every single day, but I think the products are pretty good. I'm pretty excited about this box. The last one I got, like I said, just wasn't my favorite, but I think these products are a little bit more on target with what I would typically use. So I guess that is it. That is everything I have for you guys today. Thank you so very much for watching. Please go ahead and subscribe if you would not mind. It would mean the absolute world to me. Plus don't forget that we do have a giveaway going on right now which you can enter down below. I'll leave a link for you guys. And I just hope you have an absolutely fantastic day and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!